Hello, and welcome to Volume 3 of the Massey Ferguson Archives, where, as you can see today, we're here amongst the magnificent Hyundai Collection. Once again, we're going to meet the famous Ferguson TE20 tractor through contemporary archive film. This time, we're going to begin with a journey around the globe in the company of the TE20, in this final selection from the Farming Review series from the early 1950s. We start off at a typically English private school where a TE20 appears to be the main workhorse. They set about the task of getting this land under cultivation. Within a few years, under the direction of a capable and energetic farm manager, they had added to their holding and increased it to nearly 88. We also look at the advent of the one-way plough and then move on to China, France, Africa and Denmark. And the common thread in all of these the versatile little grey fergie. Across the field, there's no formation of a central ridge or furrow. Next, we move on to a film that is part of our national history. In the winter of 1953, the east coast of England and Scotland was hit by a series of gale force winds that left a path of destruction in their wake. The high winds brought a surge of seawater onto the low lying lands of East Anglia with dire results for farmers industry and homeowners alike. This film is a unique record of that disaster and it also illustrates how companies like Harry Ferguson and the tractor dealerships all pulled together to assist those affected by one of the worst storms this country has ever known. ones capable of crossing the innocent looking sands. Actually several heavier tractors were tried but soon bogged down. Extracting single large logs from the tangled debris was the job of the Danish timber grabs at the demonstration. Being mounted on the three-point linkage, the grab could be backed up to most logs situated in awkward positions. True to the principles of the Ferguson system, this grab is designed in such a manner that part of the log's weight is carried on the tractor. Something a little more cheerful now and one of the most unusual uses for a Ferguson TE20 tractor. Twos, an implement firm from Devon, a company that still exists today, came up with the tractor mount roller. And here it is, on demonstration in all its glory. Here it is seen working in conjunction with a modern road laying machine on an A-class road in South Devon. For our last film, we move into a new era. This film, made by the renamed Massey Harris Ferguson Film Unit, gives us a detailed account of the new Ferguson equipment designed to make the growing of sugar beet much easier. And what's more, this film is in colour. ...easily undertaken by the existing farm staff since time is no longer critical. So there you have it. You kill the expense of extra labour and the risk of not completing the job of thinning on time the proverbial two birds with one stone. Before going on to watch the performance and operation of the machine in the field, a word remains to be said on that old enemy, weeds. Mechanical thinning results in more effective control, it being possible to free 80% of each row when giving a second treatment to the plant.